In this video, we're going to look at how to add two algebraic fractions where both fractions have got quadratics as its denominators. To add two fractions, we need to make sure that both fractions have got the same denominator. So when we're working with fractions with algebraic denominators, our first step would be to start by factorizing both of the denominators. So let's start with x squared minus 4. x squared minus 4 is a difference of two squares. This expression can be rewritten as x squared minus 2 squared, and using the difference of two squares identity, it can be rewritten as x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we can replace x squared minus 4 with x plus 2 times x minus 2. Next, we need to factorize x squared plus x minus 2. Now, this is a quadratic, and we can factorize it using the PSF method. Using the PSF method, we're looking for two numbers a and b that multiplies to give the constant of negative 2, and the same two numbers a and b must add to give the coefficient of x, which in this case is positive 1. The two numbers that will satisfy this condition would be if a is equal to 2 and if b is equal to negative 1. Since 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 and 2 plus negative 1 is 1. Once we have these values of a and b, we can now rewrite x squared plus x minus 2 as x plus 2 times x minus 1. And so this expression can now be replaced by x plus 2 times x minus 1. Now that we've factorized both denominators, we can rewrite the original expression in factorized form as follows. Our next step is to find a common denominator. Since our first fraction has got x plus 2 and x minus 2, and our second fraction has got x plus 2 and x minus 1 on the denominator, we're going to have x plus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 1 as our common denominator. So to the first fraction, we're going to need to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 1. And to the second fraction, we're going to need to multiply the top and the bottom by x minus 2. So our expression now looks like this. Our next step now is to expand the numerators of both fractions. So for the first fraction, 4x times x will give us 4x squared. 4x times negative 1 will give us negative 4x. And for the second fraction, we have got a binomial expansion. 2x times x is going to give us 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is going to give us negative 4x. 1 times x will give us a plus x, and 1 times negative 2 will give us a negative 2. Now, the two middle terms here, minus 4x plus x, can be collected to give minus 3x. Now, as an aside, this plus applies to this entire fraction. But because it's positive, it's not going to change the sign when we apply it to every term inside the bracket. So now that both fractions have got the same denominator, we can combine it into a single fraction as follows. Our last step now is to collect like terms. So with the x squared term, we've got 4x squared plus 2x squared. So we're going to get 6x squared. The x term, we've got minus 4x and minus x. So that's going to combine to give us negative 5x. And the last term, negative 2, that's a constant term, and we've got nothing to collect with it, so it just stays as minus 2. So this is our final solution. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoy that. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please do check out our channel. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We release videos weekly, and we hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.